Hey guys, this is Echo Sourx, and you are checking out a Spire kind of quick tip or run through video for ADSR sound. So, in this video, we're going to be talking about the Unison engine inside of Spire and just kind of run over the features that it has and how you can use it to create really musical sounds quite quickly. So, outside, I would say of Dune 2, I personally like Spire's Unison engine the most. I find it very musical. And when I say the t word or term musical in this instance, I mean I can get results really quickly and really easily without too much fuss with a sound that fits into a mix. It, it translates to a musical context. It just does. It doesn't just sound cool in isolation. So if I compare it to some of the heavy hitters like uh, Massive, Silent, Serum, Hive, all that sort of stuff, I like this more than all those synths, Unison engines. Um, it's like I said, Dune Two. You have so much control over it. It's insane. But with this one, you have a lot of control, and the control is kind of. It's all right in front of you, which is really nice. So I have a sound that I made. It's called a hyped saw. It's a reference to like a hyper saw sound from an access virus. It sounds like this. All right, so you get the idea. Big old hypersaw sound. And I'm saying hypersaw instead of supersaw. They're kind of intercha interchangeable terms. Supersaw is the Roland terminology. Hypersaw would be the access uh, from access virus terminology. So the uh, the actual saw wave in uh, Spire is modeled after the saw wave a little bit in, or pretty closely actually, to the access virus. It has like a curve, and we'll look at that in a second. But so let's, uh, I'll just copy this and we'll do initialize preset. So you'll notice with the initialize preset, if you're brand new to Spire, it'll say, it's, it's kind of confusing the first time you use it, but you have these four oscillators over here. And by default, oscillator one will be on and it's on indicated and has volume by this little red dot in the mix knob over here. But you'll notice this as classic and you'll be like, well, what, what the heck does that mean? It says sine wave. And if you hit a note, you'll like, I'll hit C. You'll be like, that is most definitely not a sine wave. Well, here's a sine wave. So basically, every waveform in Inspire starts out as a saw, and as you turn this wet or this uh, the size wavetable mix, um, it is going to then get closer and closer. If you turn it up all the way to a thousand, it'll actually be the waveform that it says. So let's go to sitar. So this is actually the sitar waveform. But if I go to down here to the left, it sounds just like the sign. So that's kind of how Spire works, which is a little bit confusing at first if you've come from other synths or where, you know, if it, like like massive on the wavetable, if you're facing, if it says sign and you're facing the left, you know, it, you know it's going to be the sign or whatever, but and then it'll drift away from that as you go. But yeah, this is how it works. So if we look at the, uh, if I pull up an oscilloscope here and we look at this, see that curve? That curve is kind of unique. Not every synth like silence and massive that doesn't have that curvature to the waveform, but so what we're going to be looking at is just how you can create and start to detune your and add voices to the synth and create those big hyper saw sounds. So all you have to do is over here, this little section right here that I'm kind of mousing over right now, this is your detune voicing, unison voicing kind of section. So it, it comes right off of the oscillator, which is kind of convenient. It's not nestled away in some other tab like with Massive. You have to go to the voicing or with Serum. If you want to mess with it, you have to go to... The, uh, the global tab and mess with your different voices and all that sort of stuff. It With Serum, for instance, you have some of the controls on the oscillator level and some of them on the other page. That's why I like and think that it's very musical to keep it all right here. So you have detune and density. Detune is going to be the amount it's detuning the voices against each other. Density is going to be how much how thick, so how much you, that you kind of hear and perceive that effect. And then, of course, you have width, which will spread those voices out in the stereo field, which is nice. So on one voice... Click down here and you have you can go from one to nine voices. So if you want to do like a super saw sound, you can do seven. It's really that easy. And the cool thing here is you can really quickly just copy and paste this over to oscillator two. And it will copy and paste the unison mode and the density and the width over. So you don't have to like do all that by scratch. I mean, you can, of course, you don't want probably everything as wide and as detuned as I had it, but those first two oscillators might be cool. So if I just add a filter real quick.
really easy to kind of a pluck sound you turn the cutoff up it's more of a lead so you might notice that you're not hearing all the sounds what you have to do you have to make sure that you have all of your oscillators that you want active you have to turn the mix knob up for them so now we're going to hear a much wider sound One of the cool things about the Unison engine inside of Spire is that you have these different Unison modes, and they're quite musical. So if we turn off oscillators uh, one or two, three, and four, let's say you're doing like a deep house type sound, and you wanted that minor seventh stack. I mean, I spent literally no time working on the sound, and that's pretty cool. So you have these different unison modes, octave, two octave, three, three octave, which is going to spread the voices through two octaves. Which, in, a, in effect, gives you even more uh, voice counts. And all this can be independent. So the unison voice counts and the unison modes can be different for each of the four oscillators. So there's a lot of freedom to play with. It's going to sound terrible right now, but because uh, I have that minor seventh, I believe, in there. But anyway, um, yeah, you, you have all these different kind of creative freedoms that you can take with the Unison Engine Inspire. And for that reason, I think it's very cool. So you have, you have all those different options, which is always nice. So if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Echo Soundworks. I'll see you next time.